Hey, good morning. Welcome to reinventing your health. I got to get all of my stuff set up. Can you? Oh, okay. uh -huh. Can you hear me? No, can you hear me? Can you see and hear me? Okay. Let me know in the chat. I'm Dr. Edie. If this is your first class with me, welcome. I got to get several little things all set up for us. Let's see if I can get the chat pulled up. Good morning. Can somebody tell me if you can see in here? Okay. And then we are also streaming this into our, um, my Facebook group, which is called the sisterhood. Oh, yay, Marcy. Yay, Kim. Thank you. Hi. Good morning, everybody. I think we are almost ready in all the places we are talking all about reinventing your health today and specifically seven strategies that I have used over the last few years to totally revamp my health, like totally change everything about my health. As a matter of fact, if I don't think I have one handy, but if you could look at a picture of me from eight years ago, when I first started my health journey, even though I am a family doctor, um, you would think that I had reversed age. You would be like, what has happened to this lady? Um, and even though I was trained in traditional medicine, I really didn't know much about true wellness, like how to make ourselves healthy and keep ourselves healthy to the best of our ability. So I want to just share with you seven strategies that I've been using to lose 30 pounds, to get stronger than ever, to have more energy than ever, um, to really dial in my health. It's not that I don't still have struggles because I am the age of someone menopausal, perimenopausal. And so I'm working through some hormone changes, but I will say that I feel like I am so much more knowledgeable than I I've learned so much in the last eight years, way more than I learned in medical school, by the way, um, about how to keep myself healthy. And I've been teaching over the last week, a, um, a workshop called the reinvention summit. And lots of my students are like, I want to hear from you about health. So we decided to do this kind of in conjunction with that, but really how to reinvent your health and seven strategies that you can use lots of things that you can implement today. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share a little bit of my own story, give you lots of practical tips for how you can implement strategies in your own life to keep yourself healthy. So if you are here and maybe you are joining us for the first time and you haven't been to one of my teachings or workshops before, I'm Dr. Edie Wadsworth. Um, I was a medical doctor, an MD, trained as an MD, and I practiced medicine for about 10 years. And then I transitioned home to homeschool my kids. I ended up writing a book um, and a blog and after that, I found Young Living and found a nat I sort of dove into a natural health education that I didn't know I was missing. I learned so much in the last eight years. I continue to learn and continue to tweak things and try things. I have a couple of fun things today. Those of you who come to all my classes, um, I have a, a couple of fun things to show you today that, that I've been doing just recently. But this has been truly important to me because I realize that uh, we don't have anything if we don't have our health. And I run um, a multiple six figure and a multiple seven figure business. I run two businesses and I need all the energy that I can get. I am the founder of Life Mentoring School. So I see lots of my students here. I love you so much. I see, who is that? Oh, Kim and Crystal. Yes, hi, and Angela. So good to see you all. Um, but I run that program and I also run a life coaching uh, certification program that is faith-based and I love my job, but it takes a lot of energy. And I'm so thankful that I found these tools a while back to help myself be a lot more healthy. So we are going to dive straight into the strategies. Number one, if you come to any of my classes, you could probably all say in unison what number one is. Number one is food. Number one is food that nourishes, nourishes you. So nutrient dense food that gives you what you need. Now, when I used to teach my patients this, I would teach them to shop the perimeter of the grocery store. That's still mostly true. Um, because if you're spending a ton of time figuring out what's in the food, 
real food doesn't usually come with like all of those things to figure out. <laughs> so if you're in the produce section and you're looking at apples, there's nothing to read because people would always tell me it's so complicated food labels. I'm like, you're buying the wrong food. If you're reading a bunch of food labels. So food that God made food, that's usually in the perimeter of the grocery store. But I want to mention two uh, or a couple of really important things over the last few years, I've gotten so into gut health and food plays such an important role in gut health. And, um, I have learned a lot, things that I never learned in medical school about the gut microbiome. So there's this whole collection of bacteria and and um, fungi and all kinds of little critters that live in your gut. And they're the real unsung hero of our health. And they're finding more and more that the health of your gut microbiome is the health of you. Actually, your gut microbiome makes up more than your own DNA. So the DNA material of all the gut microbiome that is in your gut makes up more of you by a long shot than you do. So this is really important. And one of the things that influences the microbiome so much is what we eat. So we're, you know, accustomed in America to eating a lot of processed food, a lot of sugar, which damages the gut microbiome, which makes it very difficult for your body to function like it's supposed to. And in the gut, when you damage this microbiome and you end up with a leaky gut where lots of things leak into your bloodstream that aren't supposed to, you get all kinds of issues. It results in so many issues for us. The other thing that happens is because so much of your serotonin, your feel good, um, happy, healthy hormones are made in your gut. When you don't have good gut health, you don't have the um, hormones and the molecules around that you need to feel good. And so gut health is so important. And the best way to heal your gut is to eat your way there, is to literally eat your way there. So um, a few things that I've been doing for a long time is taking a good micro uh, or a good um, probiotic. So we're going to talk about targeted supplements at the end. So I won't go over that now, but I will share with you a couple of things that I've implemented that I've done before, but I brought back into my life this spring that I want to challenge you to do is I have been growing microgreens. This is my third year, I think, to grow microgreens. Anybody else here, microgreens fan, you just need to go look up all the health benefits of microgreens. So I used to like try to be all fancy with how I did this. And now what I do with this, you guys, is I just cut with the scissors. I just cut a bunch off and just eat them raw every day. <laughs> and I am not kidding you. My microgreens, I got back from Miami and I got a cold when I transitioned from coming back from Miami to here with everything that was blooming. And I, my microgreens hadn't, weren't ready to eat yet, but as soon as they got big enough and I started eating my microgreens, I, I beat that so fast. So I love keeping trays of microgreens going. So if you've never done it, you can order. I ordered the microgreens kit that I have on Amazon. So you can just order a kit on Amazon. And once you plant it, follow the directions for planting it, you'll have your microgreens in like seven days. You'll get more nutrients from those microgreens than you get probably in a, you'll get more from those, like just one handful of those than you'll probably get in a week of your regular food. So again, I just take some scissors and cut a bunch off and just eat them raw. They're kind of spicy, but I have grown to love them. The other thing that I highly recommend if you haven't been doing is, um, fermented foods. So I've been doing, um, sourdough for a long time. I just, in well, I say I, my dear friend, Lila, who uh, is my assistant, helped me get going some kefir. So if you've never made milk kefir or water kefir, this is a fresh batch that we, we just got going. I've done milk kefir before. And I think when I did it before I went too strong, too fast. This is probably the most powerful dose of probiotics that you can possibly get. And we made this kefir with, um, raw milk. So it's very potent. So I have been drinking a smoothie this morning made with it, but only like a couple of teaspoons until my body gets more used to how powerful this is. You can order these grains online. I think I ordered the culture, the kefir grains from, um, cultured for health or something like that, but you can order them online. 
and make your own if you want. Um, but other things like I make my own sauerkraut, so sauerkraut or any fermented food, but add fermented food to your diet. And again, we're going to talk in a minute about some supplements, some targeted supplements that you can take for this, but this is so, so, so important. There's so many things that damage your gut health, processed food, food that's hard to digest, sugar. For some people, lactose can do this, but a healthy microbiome is what helps you take in uh, the nutrients that you are meant to take in, digest the food that you're meant to digest, convert that into what your body actually needs to function properly. And you can only do this if you have a good, healthy, diverse species of bacteria and viruses that are living in your body. And modern life is so hard on our microbiome, antibiotics, medicine, stress, lack of movement, processed food, all of that is really stressful to your gut. So whatever you can do to promote gut healing, so, so important. And the most important thing is what you're eating. So ask yourself, am I eating real food? And am I adding some good fermented foods to that? Maybe something like microgreens or um, kefir or raw milk or whatever that you can really help yourself heal fast and stay strong and healthy. Number two, so that was number one. Somebody put these in the Zoom call, uh, maybe even on Instagram. Somebody be our little note taker and tell us. So number one was um, nutrient dense food, add microgreens, add fermented foods. Number two is movement. You guys, I've been harping on this for so long, but it's because it's so important. The thing that determines longevity more than anything else is the amount of lean muscle you have on your body. And as you age, if you are not actively building muscle, you're losing muscle. So this whole movement of people just being skinny is over. No, you need to have lean muscle on your body. Muscle is the tissue of longevity. It's also how you boost your metabolism. It's how you keep yourself from having insulin resistance. There's so many amazing benefits from having lean muscle. Of course, you get the benefits of being stronger and all of the things that come with that, like all the things that you can do. I just spent uh, a week in February with my little grandbaby and I can do anything with him. I can squat down with him and do little gymnastics with him and dance and sing and play and run and hike. And it really... I really can't overemphasize the importance of moving. Moving your body is what makes you different than somebody who's not living. <laughs> so are you moving your joints? Are you lifting some weights? Are you putting your body under enough stress so that it can make itself strong? So ask yourself if you're doing that. Movement is so important. There's really, there's nothing that you can do like this that gives you the same benefit. You can't take a pill for that. It's really something that you have to do on your own. And if you haven't been adding strength training, add strength training, make yourself strong. Really, really important to your overall health, to your metabolism, to aging gracefully and in a, in a way that helps you feel young. So, so important. It really balances out so many of your hormones when you strength train. Number three, good sleep. And I would add to that true rest because I find with all of our screens that what we often get is we get not really good productive work and hard movement and that, and then true rest and good sleep, but we get some weird thing in between. So ask yourself, am I prioritizing sleep? Am I getting enough sleep? I wear an aura ring. So I don't know if you have some kind of fitness tracker that will help you track your sleep. I use all kinds of oils, supplements, melatonin, um, just a routine really to help yourself get sleep, blackout curtains, a cool room, a white noise, like research all of the things that you need to do to get good sleep. And even with all of that, y'all, I struggle with this because I'm, you know, going through some changes with my hormones and I have to really prioritize this, but it makes a big difference. If you're really conscious of getting the sleep that you need, you'll sleep obviously way better if you're getting outside and getting a lot of sunlight and getting some sunshine, getting sun in your eyes. They say, if you get sun in your eyes early in the morning to kind of signify to your body that like, Hey, it's morning. We need to set our, um, sleep and wake cycles that if you get that kind of sunshine on your skin and in your eyes during the day, that you'll be so much 
better that it'll help reset those cycles for you for sleeping and waking. So really, really important. I'm going to share with you some supplements and oils at the end that you can do to help yourself with this, but sleep is so important. I read a book years ago on sleep and even just losing an hour or two of sleep a night consistently over a year or two can shave years off your life. Like it's crazy how important it is. Number four, reducing stress. I'm going to preach to the choir here for a minute because I <laughs> have been addicted to stress for so long. I learned early on, I learned these bad habits of like um, coming from a difficult background and learning to strive and work hard to prove myself. That's not the kind of um, productivity that I'm talking about to you, but I just want to admit that this is an area that I constantly have to work on and keep an eye out on because there is literally almost nothing worse for your body than chronic stress. And what I teach in actually life mentoring school, we deal with this a lot because so much of the stress that we're under, we're creating for ourselves with our own thinking, your life, there can be a million things happening in your life, but the way you interpret it, the story you tell yourself about it, the way you talk to yourself internally, so key to the amount of stress that you actually experience. And this has been a huge learning curve for me. It truly is as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So what are the messages that you're listening to every day? Who is pouring into you? What are you allowing to affect your heart and mind? And how are you prioritizing? Like, I mean, I know it's kind of, um, I know some people tune me out when I say self-care, but what I really mean is you can't take care of other people if you don't take care of yourself <laughs> and really managing your stress, like really being honest with yourself about the limiting beliefs you have, the self-sabotaging behaviors you have, the way you talk to yourself in your own mind that is causing so much internal uh, turmoil for you. I used to do this with my past. I used to be like, well, you know, I had such a hard past. So I always have to live from this hard story of my hard past. No, you don't. You can change the story that you're living by whenever you want. You can just decide. I'm no longer living from that story. I am creating a future that I love. I am creating a future of peace and harmony. I'm creating relationships that nourish me. I am creating a, a, a way of living that nourishes me. Some of you have terrible stories about your health. You say to yourself, well, I've just always been overweight. Well, I've just always struggled with this. I'm never going to be able to get healthy like that. Well, if you keep believing that, you will prove yourself true. So ask yourself, not is the story that I'm telling true, because you could probably find evidence for it, but is the story that you're telling yourself giving you what you want? If those thoughts become reality, and they do, what reality are you creating for yourself in your weight, in your health, building muscle? Like, I'm just a person who doesn't exercise. What? No. You're a human who is meant for movement. So ask yourself, what are the stories that I'm telling myself? And are they creating a life that I want? Are they creating the health that I want? Are they creating the relationships that I want? Are they creating peace and joy and harmony in my life? Are they creating uh, wellness for me? And this is really important and something that you totally have control over. Listen, you don't have control over so much of what happens in your life. Maybe what happens to you by other people or what happens to you in jobs or just terrible circumstances. There are terrible circumstances in the world. Of course, those are going to keep coming at us. The question we have to ask ourselves is what can I on purpose create in my own life internally that ends up blessing other people? How can I manage my own heart and mind in such a way that the overflow from my life is a blessing to other people? How can I create strength and health and joy for myself? Because there's, there's no doubt that there's going to be just a life full of difficulties for all of us. That's a given. What's not a given is the joy that you can decide to create is the fun and adventure and health and strength that you decide to create in your own life. Number five, reduce the amount of toxins you're exposed to. 
You guys, this is huge. I did not realize this until I basically got a PhD in natural health over the last seven or eight years. We are swimming in a sea of toxin. If you look at most of what is surrounding you in your own home, they say that the average woman is surrounded by three or 400 toxins in her own house and a hundred of those in her bathroom before she leaves her own bathroom. They did a study and found that newborn babies have over 200 toxins in the umbilical blood in the cord of a newborn baby that is passed to the baby from the mama. And we have got to become conscious of what we're putting on ourselves. You know, like if you're addicted to candles, like I used to be, go do some research. I switched to diffusers. I switched to oils. Go do some research about what those candles and what those room sprays and what those cleaners that you're using, the toxins that they fill your body with. If you look at the amount of just disease and infertility and uh, estrogen dominance and all of the things that are just dominating, especially women's health, most of it is coming from stuff that we're putting on or in our bodies and we don't even realize it. I mean, it's, I didn't know, you don't know till you know, and I didn't know any of this until a few years ago. And I started slowly over time, just replacing the things. I don't have those toxic candles anymore. I use diffusers. I have like 21 diffusers in my house. Y'all, I have them everywhere. I have two or three in this room. I have three in my kitchen, two or three in my living room. They're in all the bedrooms and the bathrooms. I would love to know, by the way, if you do already use diffusers, uh, how many do you have in your house? You probably need more. <laughs> and I love when I get my diffusers going and I go outside for a while or I'm gone, I have to run an errand and I come home and my house smells amazing and I know it's safe. And not only the toxins that you're putting on your body and they're in the air, but what you're putting in your body with what you're eating that we talked about with number one. So how can you make simple steps today to reduce the toxins in your house? I'm gonna share at the end about this amazing box of, um, magical oils that I love. And I cannot tell you the joy they bring me when I get my diffusers going and the amount of just relaxation and peace. And if you, if it's time for bed, maybe sleep or just all of the joy that it brings me to have my diffusers going at night. Um, so reducing your toxins is way easier than you think. Don't let the fact that, Oh, you know, I, um, now I'm going to have to read labels on everything and go green. I used to hate those words. Like, what does that even mean? And, and I don't know what's good and what's not good. Well, I'm going to share what I have found is that there's just an easy button that I use that I love so much. And I get almost all of my wellness products from Young Living. I use other companies too for different things, but mo I get all my oils from Young Living and most of my supplements for young from Young Living. And I'm going to share some of those favorite ones in just a minute. So reducing your toxic load. So, so important. I honestly think think that when, cause when I first started my natural health journey, I didn't have like all the tools that I have now. And, um, even just removing toxins and doing the few things that I did, um, made a huge difference. And now it just keeps on. Like I, you can watch, um, I, I run a wellness group called the sisterhood on Facebook. When you join me or anybody who's with me, um, if you join our oils group, you get added to that group. So I've done so many videos over the years and you can just look at me in all those videos, getting healthier and healthier and healthier and healthier. So, um, really prioritize getting yourself surrounded by things that bring health instead of things that bring illness. Um, number six, this is really important. Y'all, this is what I taught last week in my, um, summit in my reinvention summit, but having meaningful challenging goals. I cannot tell you how important this is for your just overall health, having something to work toward. I have currently been working on, um, training for a half marathon. I trained for a half marathon years ago and then my health crashed and I haven't trained for one since then. And I was so worried, like, am I going to be able to do it? I'm 53. I don't know, but two of my kids were doing it and I'm like, I want to do it with them. And so I ran seven miles last week and I was just so thankful and so proud of myself. So the half marathon is in a few weeks and I can't wait to do it. But having that goal to work toward, like, even if I end up having to walk a few of the miles, I'm just so thankful that I set myself a goal. So what are you working toward? What is it in your life? Maybe it's a health goal. Maybe it's a finance goal. Maybe it's 
something in your relationships or a job or something. Give yourself something meaningful that you're working toward. I taught this last week, but this is so true. You will drastically improve the quality of your life now when you are dreaming about the future, when you have a dream, when you have a goal that you're working toward. Life today will feel more meaningful when you're working toward something. And I think especially women my age, and listen, if you're in your 40s or 50s, just put a uh, M in the chat for midlife. <laughs> if you're in your 40s or 50s, I'm gonna call you out right now because here's what we do. We tell ourselves, well, I've done my thing. I've raised my kids. You know, like we, we set goals and we keep looking forward to the next thing until we don't, until we get to an age where we're like, well, I guess I'll leave that for the young people. No, we were all meant to aim high towards something. I guarantee you that there is untapped potential inside of you that you have not unlocked because you haven't put your a challenge in front of yourself. I wasn't sure that I still had it in me maybe to run a half marathon. And I've just proven to myself that, yeah, I still got it. <laughs> I mean, we'll see the, the race isn't yet, but I have still been able to train for it and give myself that challenge. So ask yourself, what is the challenge that you're giving yourself that pushes you to get healthier, that pushes you to show up better and bigger than you ever have that pushes you to let that fullest expression of yourself come forth. That pushes you to become the version of you that God created. Like, what are you aiming toward? What is your goal? What is your dream? And don't say you don't know, because that's what we do. We women who get to a certain age, we're like, I just don't know anymore. Yeah, you do. If you just access that part of you that still desires things, that still wants to do um, the thing that you were called to do, that wants to contribute the gifts that you've been given. So what is your challenge? What is your meaningful goal? I really want you to think about this. It's so important. A good friend of mine, I think she's on here, Miss Denise, a good friend of mine years ago. She was like, you know what? I just, I don't know. I just don't love setting goals. And I'm like, well, it's because you've been thinking about it wrong. I'm like, the reason you don't like goals is because, you know, you think of it as like, oh, I need to like, whatever, you know, run a half marathon, a goal that I would have. I'm like, think of something that sounds fun to you. So she set this goal, you guys, of learning to line dance and she did it. And we came together at one of my live events and we line danced. And I was like, that is the best goal ever. So your goals don't have like find a goal that means something to you. That sounds fun. That sounds like, oh my gosh, this would be so fun if I did that. Right. And so don't let other people tell you like, oh, no, you should want to like run a marathon or climb a mountain. No, maybe you want to learn how to line dance. And I think that's amazing. So I want you to ask yourself, what am I doing that lights my own soul on fire? And this will make you healthier when you do this, I promise. And somebody mentioned, I love that you mentioned that, like failing. No, the goal, it, you know, the reason why we do this is because, because we set goals that, and we're, and we, secretly are like trying to prove ourselves with the goals. No, I set goals knowing I'm going to fail a bunch, <laughs> but look how far I'm going to get. Right. And so don't make yourself worth tied to the goal. You're already worthy and loved and adored. You don't need to set a goal to prove anything, to prove yourself. No, you just set a goal to challenge more of you to come alive. How can we see more of the magic in you? How can more of you show up every day? So we set a goal for that, not so that we can prove ourselves or so that we can show other people that we're worthy or that we're whatever. No, we're ready for lots of failure, but we're doing this so that we can call forth more of ourselves to live this big, beautiful life that we have been given. And the last one, number seven is targeted supplements and oils. This is a huge part of my life. I should have brought my little granny box down of all the supplements that I take every day, you guys. But listen, I'm 53. I'm not on prescription medicine yet. I was offered a bunch of it a long time ago when my health crashed. And I have just slowly over time implemented all the things that I'm teaching you and been able to avoid that. And I, I, just nourish myself with food and exercise and sleep and supplements. And, um, I have a box where I just, you know, take the supplements that, and, and I have done this recently with the help of a natural health practitioner, 
because my adrenal glands were struggling and my hormones have been struggling a little bit. So she helped me. So I've been taking some supplements from her and then some supplements from Young Living, a few that I order on Amazon or whatever. But I wanted to mention a couple that I love so much. One is called Longevity, and this one is a Young Living supplement. Somebody said your box is too heavy to carry. I know it is. <laughs> um, but longevity is a supplement that I love taking. It's a supplement from Young Living that has oils in it. So it's got frankincense and thyme and orange oil and clove. Um, yeah. And then some carrier oil, but I love this supplement. We've done different challenges where you take this supplement every day. Think about the, the name of the supplement, which is called longevity. Um, so that is a great overall supplement. If you're looking to figure out like, what should I just start? Where should I start? I would start with longevity. The other thing that I would start with is something for gut health. So every day I'm taking my probiotics, usually a handful of them. I, I don't know. I haven't counted. I probably, I probably take 40 or 50 pills or something. I don't know if supplements, I love using targeted supplements to help myself. So, um, one of the ones, another one that I love from young living is life nine. So, um, and I'll just literally take handfuls of this one. Life nine is a, is a probiotic, but it's a supplement that when you take it, you know, you took it. I used to, when I practiced medicine would tell my clients like, or tell my patients that I didn't believe in supplements. And that was a true story. And the reason I didn't believe in supplements is because I took supplements and I couldn't tell that I took them. When I take these supplements that I mentioned to you guys, I can tell that I, that I take them because I start to feel better. I digest my food differently and better. One that I've been taking recently after I had my bout with allergies was Allerzyme. I love this one for this time of year. It's so, so good. And then one that I've been taking for eight years straight have barely missed a day that I take, I don't know, four to six ounces of a day is Ningxia Red. So Ningxia Red is a whole body nutrition um, supplement. It's made from wolfberries, which are highly nutritious and have so many amazing compounds in there um, for your health. I have so many things sitting here. I can't even open my box, y'all. Um, but it comes in little packets or it comes in a bottle. This, I, this is the one that Stevie and I started with when we first started our natural health journey. They... Um, we started with Ningxia Red and the starter box with Young Living, which I'm going to show you in just a second. We started with those two products and then a hormone oil called Progescence Plus. So I started with those three products and I got rid of the things in my life that I could. Oh, and one more, Thieves Cleaner. Thieves Cleaner will replace all of your toxic cleaners. So I started with those main products and I probably used just those for months before I was like, oh, okay, now I can add this and now I can add this. And with those products, just I just noticed a huge change. I just started to feel better. I started to care again. Like how many of you have gotten to the point, maybe in your own health, where, you, where it feels so overwhelming that you don't even care? You're like, I just have lost hope that I'm going to be able to do anything about it or that I'm going to be able to feel better. And I have, I just found that for me, this was like a bridge to feel better enough to care to feel better enough to go, okay, now I think I can do something about this. So it's been such a fun journey for me. Um, and I started with the starter box, the starter bundle, and you get like our main oils that are kind of, you know, good for everything. So in this starter bundle, we have pan away, which is good for pan or pain <laughs> Raven, which is a breathing oil. It has several citrus oils, which are just so good for diffusing, really good for mood. It has digize, which is good for digestion. Thieves, which is really good for your immune system. Peppermint, good for um, energy, digestion, your immune system. Frankincense, which is like to me has been such a transformative oil. I use it on my face as kind of like before I put on my face cream. It's also really good on the chest for breathing. It's good for when you're feeling anxious. Um, you can put it right under your tongue. But, and then lavender is like the jack of all trades, good for skin, good for sleep. So many things. There's several oils in the kit that are good for sleep, peace and calming, lavender, valor. There's so many good ones. And when you get this bundle, of course, you have all these different, you know, combos that you can make to put in your diffusers. So a lot of the oils you can use in your diffuser, you can use wherever else. And then again, you get some concentrate of thieves cleaner or if um, 
actually, I'm not sure if that's even coming in the starter bundle anymore, but this comes in a concentrate, these household cleaner. I would highly recommend that you get that early on in your journey. And I wanted to show you really quick. You could only probably see this though, if you're watching on Zoom, but if you're watching on Zoom, I wanna show you really quick um, something that we're doing today. So if you decide to jump in this health journey with us today, and if you join with me or anyone on my team, so whoever invited you to watch this, um, anyone that's on my team, I am personally sending you a box. Hold on, where's my share screen? I am personally sending you a box of goodies that will help you get started. So, okay, here we go, share screen. There we go. So you'll get um, this whole course that I have called the mama wellness bundle. So it's a bunch of classes that I've taught hormone classes, using oils with kids, how to boost your immune system. What I wish I knew before I started with essential oils, essential oils demystify. There's so many, gut health class. There's so many good ones in here. And then if you take action quick, join us today. I am personally, no matter who you join with on my team, I'm going to send you this box. So this box, um, has a, a spray bottle that you can put your thieves concentrate in and then you just fill the rest with water you can make it's, it's got all these recipes in there of good things that you can make um so if you spend a hundred dollars order the starter bundle or spend a hundred dollars or more with me or somebody on my team we're going to send you this box so just let the person know that invited you like hey thanks for inviting me to that class i am going to get started where's your link that i can join with you and then that person will let me know and we'll get your name and address and send this box to you. But I just wanted to let you know that when you do that, not only do you get this free box and not only do you get this mama wellness course, but you get added to our, oh, where is it? You get added to our Facebook group. Let me show you that really quick. So this is our teaching group. And I know you guys can't see if you're watching on Instagram, I'm so sorry. But you'll see videos in here um, that I have done. This one is really good. It's called The Magic of Oils in Our Bodies, where I go into the specifics of how essential oils work in your body. Um, and we just did this feelings class. I love the oil harmony. The oil valor comes in your starter kit. So you'll just see all the posts. These are some amazing testimonials of people that have been using our supplements and oils and other products. I did a hormones class about a month ago. This class is being streamed into there. So that, you know, you get added to that teaching group and we just keep adding to the goodness that's there. Also, we just started, um, for those of you who might be interested in sharing your link, your Young Living, like once you decide to become a brand partner with us, then you can share your link with anybody else. And we have a, a group that teaches you how to do that. We have a brand new business mentoring program. If you're interested in, you know, having an affiliate income, I know, you know, with what's going on in the world, it is such a good time to do something like this because number one, people are looking to get healthier. And number two, people are looking to make a little extra income. So, you know, I have been making multiple six figures with Young Living for years People And I can put the income disclosure in here to show you that depending on the rank, but lots of people in our group that share their links and add people to our group and can make some affiliate income. So there's all kinds of opportunities there for you to get started. And we would love to help you in any way we can. So I hope you learned something fun today. I know I talk fast, but if you have any questions, you can just message me, let us know how we can help you. We have loved serving you this way, having you here today. Um, if you need my direct link, just message me and we will send that to you, but just message the person who invited you and we will help you get started. We love you so much. Thanks for coming today. Have a great day.